And now it's time for an all new Booze and News Beer Review with Albert and Jonathan. It is beer review time, everybody. So you got your beer, Albert? Shit. I, um, hold on, hold on. I'm going to get that shit so we can review this beer. Damn, let me, damn, let me go get it. Go get it. And uh, we'll do that to that. So uh, today, this week, everybody, we're going to be reviewing um, a St. Arnold's beer, a local beer from Houston, the oldest microbrewery here in Houston. And it, oh, look, it's all rainbow like my fucking keyboard. Hell yeah. So uh, that's good. Um, St. Arnold's, I, used to, I actually worked for St. Arnold's for a little while. It was the uh, first brewery I ever worked for. And um, it's uh, the owner's super cool guy, Brock. Anyway, this is a seasonal beer that they've been doing the last couple of years. Uh, award winning. Um, and uh, it's a Summer Pills, 4.9 ABV, 22 IBU, really low IBU rating. Uh, so not very bitter whatsoever. This is going to be um, a nice little summer beer. Um, now, I look at Untap's rating for this beer, and it gets... And uh, but we'll get into that in a minute. Let's try it first, and then I'll tell you what the rating is. So I'm gonna pull Let's it. try it out. Let's try it out. Let's try this sucker out, Albert. I got a feel, I like it. I got a gut feeling that you're going to like this beer a lot. Have you had this before? <laughs> I your gut's right. I I like it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I knew you would like this one. This is a great beer, man, cuz this is like it's not super strong, 4.9. You can drink a fuckload of these. It's good for summer. It's got nice malt. Um really low IBU. I don't know what kind of hops they use for this. Um but it's just a, a little bit of hopping there, probably uh, in the beginning of the boil and not too late into the boil. No extra hops, so good. And you know what's funny about this is that it, it's award-winning. It says on the bottle. It's good. And it says it's crisp and refreshing. Now, when you think about it, yeah. and this was my argument about IPAs and shit. There's like when no head to, there's like no head to it, though. That's one of my – I'm gonna. that's like major complaint right off the bat. The bat. There's There's – Carbonation seems kind of low. Well, that that may be a little bit true. Um, but this just goes to show you, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm being very, like, broad here. But I think it just goes to show you that at the end of the day, most people are always going to enjoy a crisp, light, refreshing beer. Yeah, most Americans, I mean, a lager is a very, probably the most popular um american style beer and a pilsner is just basically an ale equivalent of a lager so it's about as similar as you can get they make it um uh at a little bit different temperature because of the yeast um and then the timing's a little bit different but it's a pilsner is very similar it's about as close as you're going to get to a lager with an ale when you do it so i like this a lot uh where are you going to rate this out of 10 I'm gonna rate it a um I'm gonna rate it an eight and a half. Eight and a half. Um I'm gonna go I'm gonna agree with you on that. I'm gonna go eight and a half. Um, which is higher than the untapped rating. It gets about a seven out of ten on untapped. So uh, I think this might be my favorite uh St. Arnold's beer. I don't know. I like the amber. That's an old school one that they've been doing for a long time. But this is probably my favorite seasonal by far that they do. It's damn yep. good. I can drink a lot of these. Thanks for watching. Please follow and subscribe to us at Booze and News on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you.